Hello, bonjour. Today I'm doing a special video. It's about the 24 Artist Pro XP Pen tablet. It's a review video and uh, I'm able to do this video because XP Pen sent me for free a model. Uh, I have total freedom to say my opinion about it. I will test this tablet under Linux. So I'm very excited to can share my experience and my uh, feedback about this device. I'm a French artist, as you can hear by my accent, and subtitles are available. And I'm doing digital painting since 20 years, and I spent 12 of that using free, lib and open source software on Linux. So I owned many Cintiqs, and I probably compare this XP Pen model to my experience with them. So let's start with the monitor. We have here a Quad HD, uh, and this is my favorite resolution to use Krita right now, because I use that on my 27 inch monitor and uh, you can put a lot of docker around and keep a very big surface for working. It's much more comfortable than the classic 1080p. The 24 inch size allows me to put double page of my comic at printing size. I really like this detail. With that much of pixels, it's also a very good resolution to do very crisp details and uh, it's better than all the tablets I owned in the past. The colors were a little too green out of the box and the screen a little too bright. But after measurement and calibration, the monitor shows a very interesting color coverage. Full sRGB for sure, and it has the orange and the red very specific of the Adobe RGB. So no big backlight leak around the frame and uh, everything is okay about that. The OSD for on-screen display is classic and built inside the monitor, something that is very good because on my Cintiq 13 HD, this type of menu were replaced by the drivers and software. And this was a problem on Linux because if I wanted to switch the brightness, I had to go into the terminal. On this model, it is very easy as pressing the plus and minus button while even drawing. It's a very convenient shortcut to work at night, and uh, I admit that I dislike the power button. Uh, it works with touch, and I certainly would have preferred a simple mechanical interrupter. The surface of the tablet is very smooth. Do not expect a slight texture on it. The anti-glare protective overlay is also not super effective at doing its work. After only 48 hours of testing, I already managed to slightly micro-scratch the surface. That's not a good sign. The surface doesn't become super hot, just midly on the top, but that's very acceptable. The stylus is an exact copy of the one I have from the Vacom Cintiq 13 HD, but without a razor. It also has no battery. It has a rich level of pressure, and I was able to measure it on Linux, and the support of the tilt works very well. The buttons are good, but the entry of pressure on the tip is very weak. The stylus jumps from 0 to 10% very quickly, and sometimes this can cause a little bit of misclick on the user interface if you don't press slightly on the pen. The buttons on the frame are big physical buttons, not hard to press, with a muted click sound. It's pleasant in overall, and I honestly prefer them than the majority of tablets I owned. I like the end placement that wrap around the frame, and uh, the wheel button has a little pleasant mechanism with a little click, 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 I like. This stand is stable and easy to manipulate, and goes from a near flat position to a vertical one. If you unscrew it, it reveals a very interesting detail. It's a 100 by 100 mm Visa standard. And that's great because I want to try it soon on my Ergotron arm. The connectivity works with three cables. A power plug with a classic 12 volt external block like on laptop. A micro USB cable that goes to your computer and you can choose micro USB or USB to plug it. And a HDMI for the monitor. The tablet has also a USB hub with two outputs for your little device on your desk. To finish this overview, I would like to mention the very good packaging, the box printed and a lot of protection. You can't really do better. An XP Pen bundle also a lot of little extra on the pack, like a glove, a tube to store the stylus, 
8 extra nibs for the replacement and something that I very like, a second stylus. So about the driver, at first I tested the closed non-free one made by XP Pen. I tried the dev package and I had the post installation issue with permission. I had to fix the permission myself or the driver was unable to connect to the device and the interface was keeping in Chinese. The driver offers maybe a nice color red interface but I felt the experience very limited. I had random disconnect, not compatibility with all applications and tilt missing. I salute the effort for a brand to propose a driver for Linux, but coming in this ecosystem with a non-free closet driver is a bit like coming to a vegan dinner with a roasted chicken. It's not the philosophy of the community. So my experience with previous driver like that always ended with a support randomly being cut at one moment. And I say hello to Nvidia and to my Canon printer. So no way for me to use the proprietary driver. Sorry. I then installed the Debian package of the Digimen driver, an open source project. I added a custom rule to X11 and bingo. I could control the basic property of the tablet, the mapping, the calibration, the pressure curve, and the first button of the stylus. This set was accessible with the plasma tablet control and also with the X at vacuum command line. So, I went to make a script with it and calibrated with XInput Calibrator. The stylus could work perfectly, including tilt and pressure in all my application after that. Only one shadow, it's not possible to change easily the shortcut on the buttons of the frame. Same for the second button of the stylus, the one on the top. Everything works, they just have default hardcoded key on them. Still. I found a possibility to customize them thanks to a trick proposed on the Digimen discussion about other XP Pen models. The trick is a bit complicated, so I put it on the blog post attached to this video. It has a limitation, but for me it's totally okay. So I could put the shortcut I wanted on my left hand and also customize fully the one on the stylus. All in all, I'm really happy to have this almost full support with my only free, libre and open source driver. So in conclusion, let's start by what I really dislike. It requires a certain skill to get it running. The issue with the misclick on the interface, the power button too easy to trigger, and in general, I'm not fond of the ergonomy of big pen display tablet, just for the keyboard position. Now about the things that are meh, but I'm neutral now about it. Uh, the very smooth surface, I drew a comic page with it yesterday and it was finally okay. Uh, the monitor default color, because I calibrated it with Argil CMS, it obtained a very good result. The parallax, because it's similar to other models I owned by the past. And the line smoothing and jitters, because uh, they disappear after making the correct filter of events with X at Vacom. And the best for the end, the thing that I really like. The low price compared to other models on the market, the Quaid HD monitor and getting a color volume that covers fully sRGB, oh. the rich pressure variation and the tilt. I can work with it also with free Libre driver and this is priceless. And I already had a couple of good drawing sessions with it. So all in all, you know that I prefer large tablets without display for digital painting and after 20 years, I doubt I will change my habit about that. But if you saw my previous video about the Cintiq and the Intuos, you know that I find very convenient to draw on a pen display tablet like that and uh, doing the pencil and the inking on this type of tablet and then move to some sort of a tablet without a display for the painting. So I really like this one and I will try to find a permanent place on my desk for using it. So I hope you liked the video and uh, I want to thank here all the contributors of the Digimen project for all their information on the bug trackers. It's just pure gold when you have a device like this to test. Uh, I want to thank also XPPen for sending me this uh, device for a review and for the freedom also to, to let me say what I want. Uh, of course I wanted to make a, a review only in this condition 
And uh, if you want to know more about what happened with me and this tablet, I will try to update the blog post in the description. And uh, yeah, all the technical detail will be also on the description. So see you there. Bye bye.